now a trio of new faces looking to make a South Strand town their own this fall. Our Ian Klein joins us in the control room to tell us more about each of them and what they hope to accomplish there in Surfside Beach. Ian? Yeah, Surfside voters will soon choose between Cindy Keating, David Pellegrino, and Robert Krause for mayor. This evening we spoke about three topics, their vision for the town if elected, the new fishing pier, and the future of Surfside Beach over the next four years. Since 2016, the biggest topic in Surfside Beach has been getting the fishing pier back open after Hurricane Matthew destroyed it. Now, almost eight years later, it still has yet to open following a series of code issues detailed in more than a 40-page document. All three candidates say getting that pier open and generating revenue is one of their top priorities for the town. It's a very expensive pier. It's over budget and, of course, over time. So we need, need to get it outfitted and get the businesses going, get some other attractions, bring some people in and, and again, generate some revenue on there. The plan is now 470 days late and 50% over budget and uh, for various reasons, but um, we need to, we're at, where, we're at where we're at and we need to move forward and we need to complete the pier and start getting those revenues and um, moving on from there. Hopefully, you know, we can resolve some of the latest issues as to whether they're really something that has to be changed or is it a personal interpretation issue? You know, those still have to be worked out. All three candidates bring their own knowledge and experience working for the town. Cindy Keating has been serving on town council for the last four years and is currently the mayor pro tem. Rob Kraus recently served as president of the peer committee, which was suspended by town council earlier this year. And David Pellegrino also has town council experience serving from 2014 to 2021 and also ran for mayor in 2019. I've, I've been on council for eight years and I know what the problems are and I've worked through a lot of the problems. And with this peer situation, I do have a plan moving forward if I do get in to, uh, to get that done as quickly as possible. I think we're moving in the right direction. I think improving our ordinances, adding a degree of reasonableness and fairness such that they apply to all and they can be enforced. I mean, that's one of the things we've been pursuing. We, we need to preserve the, the, the lifestyle in this town too. We're the family beach, it's a quaint town and we need to preserve that as well. Over the years, tension between town council and residents has at times turned toxic. Each candidate saying they hope to continue improving communication and make town council meetings a place where everyone can be heard. We've got a silent majority that doesn't want to be engaged because of all the toxicity that's on the other side. And, you know, we've got this differing of, of opinion, but I think when it comes down to the basic premise, I think everybody does agree. They just have a different understanding what it's going to take to get there. I encourage feedback as well. I, I want to hear what people have to say. Um, some of it can be negative, but we need to deal with that. Um, that's the real stuff. So I'm willing to uh, tackle that as it comes. It's important that we get diverse ideas. We get ideas on both sides of each topic because then the more information we have, the more ideas we have, the better solution we can come up with. But everything needs to be done in a respectful manner. All three candidates are planning to take, to take part in a debate on Thursday, October 26th before voters officially go to the polls. For more on this election and others throughout the Grand Strand and PD, go to our election tab on WMBFnews.com. In the control room tonight, Ian Klein, WMBF News.